Hey guys, Thoughtful One here with my Let's Try All Pro Basketball. It's an NES game released in 1989. They've got eight teams uh, that you can play with. I just chose the first one, as good as any, I guess. It's a 5 vs 5 basketball game, as you guys can see. Uh, instead of doing a horizontal court, they went with a, a vertical court. And it's not something that I necessarily like. As you guys will see as I play the game, every time a player, the player with the ball crosses the half court mark, the game has to pause and switch around like you guys just see right there. It has to switch the courts, and that means that you have to switch which direction that you're running. And it also means that you usually can't see a majority of the court, which makes it a huge issue to pass the ball. Well, which is why I generally I don't like to pass the ball. I play like Kobe Bryant in this game. Because you just can't see who you're passing the ball to most of the time. But on the upside, the game looks awesome. Uh, it has the, that cinematic sequence play when you don't. And it's really amazing for a game made in 1989 to have to look this good with five players on the court doesn't have any slowdown or anything like that. It has these dunk sequences which look absolutely amazing. My favorite thing to do on offense is, is generally just go in for a dunk. I found that's just the easiest, most assured way score points on offense. It's just go straight for the dunk. You actually can miss dunks in this game. Uh, it doesn't happen real often, but it'll, it'll happen once or twice a game. Enough so you'll notice. It's, uh, you can play with two players. You can either play head-to-head, -head, or you can actually play together on the same team against the computer, which I think is a really cool feature. Um, and I think any good sports game needs to have the ability to have multiplayer. And the fact that this game not only has multiplayer, but lets you play with or against each other, I think is a really, really cool feature. On defense, uh, you see me. R I'm running after the guy with the ball. You can uh, you can steal or block the ball. For stealing, generally I just try to run into the player on the other side that has the ball. I found the best method is hopefully to come up from behind, behind the player. I, I guess you just have a better chance to steal the ball that way and just run right into him and the game automatically gives you a steal attempt. If you press the A button, your guy will stand there. It's supposedly in a defensive stance, but I found it just doesn't do much. There's other thing you can do on defense, which is block. To block, generally, you always have to be in range of the guy doing the dunk. Um, and I'm not sure if pressing the A or B buttons helps or not, uh, but I just, I try to press the B button, which is the jump button to block. If 
you guys ever try to pick up this game, generally it's it's a game that you have to get used to. The first game that I played, I lost by 40 or 50 points. Uh, my next game was closer, but I still lost that. Uh, it's definitely something you have to get used to. You have to get used to the vertical court style. It's switching the directions you run every time it switches uh, the vision of the court. You'll have to get used to controls and the passing. One thing you definitely have to get used to is the computer steals the ball from you a lot. It's like you you have these pro basketball players on your team, but they can't they can't handle the ball at all. <laughs> if if the computer player is anywhere in your general vicinity, basically your player will hand them the ball. So that's something that I learned pretty early on is you just want to run as far away from most of their players as you can. Nice, I got a three-point shot there. It's actually the first three-point shot that I've made. I don't try too many of them. Usually I, I do dunks. If you guys have ever played a game called Hoops, you'll notice that this plays extremely similar to that. That's because this game actually has the same developer as Hoops. Icom is the developer. Uh, they developed the same engine to run both games, uh, but they had uh, different publishers, so I guess they sold their engine. Made two different games with the same engine, sold it to different publishers, and banked. <laughs> One funny thing that I noticed is the players, when they're running around, even if they don't have the ball, they run like they're dribbling the ball. The guys on your team, the guys on the other team, who's on offense, who's on defense, they're all running like they're dribbling the ball. I just think that looks a little awkward. teammates. Basically, you're the only person on your team that has any capability of defending anything. Uh, don't depend on your teammates to try to steal or block any shots whatsoever. Liter they will literally sit there and watch them dunk on their faces and do nothing. So, just keep that in mind if you guys play your... The AI of your teammates is abysmal. They, they just do absolutely nothing. They're just players that hang around so you can switch to them. robbed me on that one. Try to get the ball back and do an actual three-point shot, I guess. Here we go, here we go. Three-point shot to end the half. And it's in, it's good. The game's really fun to play. Uh, if you guys find it out there and you like sports games, I suggest you try it. Just keep in mind that it is it does take a little bit 
to pick up. This is my fifth game playing. But anyways, with the halftime show running, go ahead and end this. Thanks for watching my Let's Try All Pro Basketball. If you guys have any comments, just let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Thoughtful one out.